Hello and welcome. All right, where did I leave off here? Any other guests in the small living room? That room. You are expected in the small salon, sir. Emily, I must speak to you. What's the matter, Louie? I have news about your sister. What have you found out? Look, I've started piecing together the events leading up to my mother's disappearance and your sister's. D did my mother know about your secret? Yes, even though I belong to the English chapter, her rank in the Order gives her access to a good deal of personal information. It must have been Emma I saw in my visions. I was given to understand that my mother and your sister bonded during their stay. Mothers really killed their sister. I'd better find her by myself. They say they spent a lot of time together. They got along well. Oh, really? Do you think your mother liked Duchess Hillsborough? Of course she did. After all, nope. she's your sister. Well, we'll find them, Emily. Trust me. Should I speak to her about my vision? If what I saw is true, she might want to take revenge. Better keep that to myself for the time being. Come, Louis. They're waiting for me. us. <laughs> oh. You were paid dearly, Peru. I'm sure you were involved somewhere along the line. That's right. Pretend you don't know. One piece of advice don't travel through France on your way back. Or it'll cost you dearly. Come now, my friends. Let's calm down. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily heated. Don't forget where you are, please. What's going on here exactly? Sir Gregory called us together to introduce the last guest. But hardly had they arrived when he set upon Monsieur Peru. And what has Monsieur Peru done to once again provoke someone's anger? Uh, we don't really know just yet. I get the feeling it won't be long before it gets out. How could you dare do such a thing? Dios mio, you are all out of your minds! Really, Duke Manuel? What made you kick up such a fuss? What? Have you not heard? Well, let me inform you that yesterday morning at 10.22 a.m. precisely, in the middle of the Place de la Révolution in Paris, by decree of the National Convention which Monsieur Peru works for, King Louis was guillotined. What? The King of France is dead, gentlemen. Our monarchies are in danger. I have said it before. How dead? Oh dear. Oh, as if Friends, friends, let us calm down. Don't pretend to be surprised. He got a fair trial. Ridiculous, bastard. He was sentenced to death by 361 votes to 360. You beheaded a king for one vote. Is that your democracy? What an obnoxious act. Until this, anything was possible. This political coup will have grave consequences. France is lost. Gentlemen, please, let us take a step back a moment. In the name Rock. of holiness, he was the highest representative of God in France, Emily. Emily. 
Gentlemen, Duchess, we're all among people of reputable company here. We should be able to manage the conflicts of our nations in a respectful and orderly manner. I fully agree with you, sir. But that's enough, sir. With whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Louis Maras de Richer. Are you related to Sarah de Richer? Sarah is his mother, Phil. Gentlemen, this news affects us all, but I must ask you to remain calm. It's not the first time history has taken us by surprise. Let's ensure that our respective countries are allowed to respond appropriately to this news. Oh, rest assured, the response will not fall short, my friend. Good for you. Well, Your Grace, here I was preparing to introduce you as is proper, and you've beaten me to it. I'm delighted that we are all together at last. Our meeting will therefore be able to kick off shortly. I have just a few more little preparations to take care of before you all find out the reason for your presence here. In the meantime, I shall leave you to get to know one another. When you hear the bell, please proceed to the conclave room on my left, behind that door. I'll see you later. I'll probably remain quiet during the dialogue because uh, a lot of it's really important. And there's usually some little quick time events inside the dialogue. Uh, could you just to catch spare you a moment, oh. please, sir? I'm glad you asked. Yeah, Francis now dead. I want to talk to you, too. Of course. I heard about your mother's disappearance. Uh, he looks concerned. I don't know why, but I doubt it's from simply alone. Let's see what he wants from me. Any news of her? Have you found her, maybe? We found traces of her that would indicate she's still on the island. Her personal belongings? Yes, but nothing of great interest. Scraps of food, some clothes... Ah, I see. Well, too bad. I shan't keep you. Monsieur de Richet. All right, then. Thank you. I hope that your search will prove successful Aww. and bring Sarah back to us soon. I must go now. I'll see you later. I haven't had one of those end so abruptly. I didn't think it was going to fail me that quick. Oh, no. That's not good. That's never good. <laughs> Look around the room, see if there's anything in here. I don't. Oh. There it is. I'd really like to know what the collectible coins are for, if it's just that, just the collectible. Chronicles of the Amber Princess. As I recall, Dorkin was my favorite character. It's funny because like I'm supposed to be doing all this important stuff and one of the things I get stuck on is checking corners for coins. See. <laughs> Again, no idea what they're for, but I'm obsessed with collecting them. Alright. Anything else? Anything else? No, just Napoleon. Okay. Monsieur Bonaparte, may I speak with you a moment? May we? Does expression go beyond the nightmare mean anything to you at all? Well, metaphorically, yes. It sums up the career of a soldier quite well. I doubt that is what you want to hear, though. Indeed. That's surely not what I'm looking for. Well, monsieur, if you are looking for Facebook, Lord Mortimer must surely have one, given the number of books he has. You ought to check in the library of the tower. You never know. Yeah, I play a lot of LEGO games too, and I probably will never stream them because... 80% of the time it's just me smashing things for boxes. 
from Peg. Would you have any more information about the conference Lord Mortimer spoke of? Nothing at all. Mortimer is very committed to secrecy when it comes to his conferences, but given the presence of Monsieur Peru and ourselves, I think it must concern France to some extent. Otherwise, I doubt he would have invited three Frenchmen to his table, huh? What do you think of Duke Godoy? Well, I'd rather not express any opinion of him. Why is that? His reputation is enough for me. Tell me more. This gentleman enjoys people talking about him for too many reasons. His undeserved titles, more than ten in just four years, and each one more prestigious than the one before. You don't think he deserves them? If I had seen him on the battlefield, there might be some doubt. But that is not the case. The Queen would rather not risk losing him, so she consoles him with awards and titles. So you don't have a very positive opinion? His coveting French Catalonia does not encourage me to have one. I understand your point of view. <laughs> Sorry, man, I turned around my cat right in my face. Oh, man, it scared me. Uh, well, I'll be leaving you now. Shall we meet up again later? But wait, monsieur. Any news of your mother? Unfortunately not, no. I hope to speak with her about my deal before I leave. Let me know if you find her. A plus tard, monsieur. I complain that I can't go in there, but that just means there's a lot more to this game, so that's actually good. But I'm starting to forget where I've already collected all. Oh. Give each other What balls. can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. Kiss my toes. Oh, it's not an option. I was just wondering if you could help me out. As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? So this guy's basically like the store in the game. It's kind of funny. Uh, I don't have any. A little Carmelite water would do me a lot of good. Could you find me some, please? Oh, the tonics are under lock and key, sir. Lord Mortimer only allows access to them in cases of emergency. It's gonna cost me. Nah, yeah, that's fine. Search for jelly rolls. I think I got everything from here. That's not good. Oh, Mr. Washington. Okay. Check everything else first. I already know these paintings. Can I leave? I cannot. Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. Crap. <laughs> Apparently I'm not allowed to have jelly rolls. 
That's sad. Go beyond the nightmare. Does this line remind you of anything in particular? You caught me unaware here, Louis. Let me think about it a second. No, nothing comes to mind. Sorry, Louis, but I am unable to help you. Mr. President, what do you think about your counterpart, Duke Manuel? I am very surprised he was able to accept Lord Mortimer's invitation, given the political situation in Spain. Got it. I think I'm going to use one of my effort points to get the contact. What do you mean? The situation is ready to explode with France over Catalonia. Well, the Duke must have a darn good reason to be absent and come here, mustn't he? When Lord Mortimer invites you, Louis, you come. It's always in your best interest. I wouldn't say that personally, but... So, so does the President of the United States just tell me that Lord Mortimer is daddy? Mr. President, can you tell me a little more <laughs> about the coming conference? Of course, Louis. That's why we're here. Lord Mortimer or Sir Gregory regularly organize meetings like this to put forward major projects. What do you mean by major projects? I'd prefer to let Lord Mortimer explain that to you, Louis. Let's say he brings together influential people in order to consider possible actions to undertake to guarantee the future of nations. Do you know the theme of the conference? Not in the slightest. None of the guests know the theme before arriving, but you'll see. Everything will turn out fine. Don't worry. Yeah, that's well, it. Lord Mortimer is thank you for your time. to his dad. Don't mention it, my young friend. <laughs> Regarding your question on the nightmare, don't hesitate to question the others about it. Maybe one of them knows more than I do. That's a good idea. Thank you once again. I'll see you in a little bit. The conversion of Ulysses by Gourges, Circe changing Ulysses' companions into swines. Hmm. I think I've got everything I can out of here. Checked all the paintings, I know that. Ah, Louis. Just the man. Good lord. How did the king come to be executed? I would think that the order would have intervened. Any of these free? I invite you to speak about it with my mother as soon as she reappears. Uh, is there any news of her? I... well, I hope it won't be long before I find her, Ramblings. Now you wanted to speak to me. If I say the nightmare, the nightmare to you, does Sup, it make you think of anything? Hmm. Welcome, man. Your question is strange, my son. Hmm. Difficult to say. Could you at least tell me a little more about the context? Uh. Well, I mean, if it were a place or an object found on this island, what would you think of first? Hmm. The nightmare. No, I don't see anything. I'm sorry. Well, that's too bad. Ah, wait. I suppose it might be that horrible painting hanging in Lord Mortimer's study. I pretend not to be that interested. Right. Well, 
don't worry about it. I was, I was just curious. I love how you get to hear his inner monologue, like pretend not to be interested. I was wondering <laughs> what to think of that Manuel Godoy. He is reputed to be a very ambitious guy. Oh, thanks guy. for sharing it, Rock. Appreciate that, dude. But his fate is unwavering. He is a staunch defender of the church. You can believe me. I really screwed myself over when I started this game. I did not understand the effort point system. And if it's not like ending uh, the, c the scenario that you're in and going to bed, you have to use jelly rolls to get your effort points back. And instead of saving them all, I kept using them. <laughs> so like half the stuff I can't even do because <laughs> it'll just screw me over later on. Oh. Oh, should I? Should I use the point, guys? Or should I just continue on? Oh. Uh, don't use it? Alright, alright, we'll save it. I'm sure a man like you is in the circle of trust. Would you know what the conference that Lord Mortimer mentioned is going to be about? Not really, my son. Well, be it Lord Mortimer or Sir Gregory, uh, we are never informed about the theme of the conference before it begins. Didn't I just ask that? Thank you oh, okay. for everything, yeah, I did. <laughs> I shan't take up any more of your time. You are welcome, my son. I will be seeing you, Louise. <sighs> oh. All right, then. That was... Yeah, uh, where is that? At the very top. Hmm. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. It's actually one of the things I'm really self-conscious about. I won't even lie about it. Like... That's a weird thing to be self-conscious about, I guess. My voice. I'm gonna blame it on that damn corpse husband. <laughs> Make me self-conscious of my voice. Now I've always been a little bit self-conscious of it, but I, I really do appreciate that. Yeah. Can I sneak around the library first? Yes. It's a shame I can't go up the ladders. Um, Actress, the Miller brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. Uh, I've already walked by that. Okay. It's weird because I've only ever been on that one level of the library and it looks like it's got like three or four levels, so hopefully there's more. Well, see, I'm. I guess what you could call technically tone deaf. So, my voice. I guess it's the same for everybody, isn't it? We we don't really hear the voice that everybody else hears. But I've been told I'm tone deaf, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I go outside. <laughs> this game's got a little bit of the COVID symptoms, man. Like you can't go outside. <laughs> Well, at least I can't yet. Doesn't matter where I am. Video games are real life. I'm trapped in doors. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. No. Oh, I already did this. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Okay, well, I know this is the last, the last supper, supper by Leonardo da Vinci. 
the last day before his crucifixion, Jesus announces that he will be betrayed by one of his disciples. Oh, it couldn't have been Judas, could it? There's no way. <laughs> Son of Roland. Roland feels his death is near. His brain is oozing by, by their ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. Ah, see, that's why I didn't go straight to Mortimer's study. Pentacle. With the five elements. Spirit or ether above all. There's the alchemical symbol of the earth on the lid. Ah, it has the key. Apparently, I'm still missing a key. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, that'd be cool. <gasps> no jelly roll. Oh, is it? Think it's open? It's worth opening this box? Don't? Okay. Yeah, you're probably right. I'll probably regret that. Opening it. Wait. The locksmith's art? Where's that at? see this book <laughs> that one skill point goes into my separate septifuge which allows me to unlock stuff easier and I can't equip the book yet I got two boxes that are locked and I need either more effort points or higher septifuge and I just got a book for it and I can't even equip it oh my god Um, kind of, uh, a lot of the dialogue is read out loud by the game, even notes and stuff. If it doesn't have audio dialogue, I will read it. Yeah. Which kind of makes sense to me to read this. I'll keep it for later. Um, because a lot of his inner inner monologue is actually you can it's externalized I guess so you can hear it so I do find it a little bit weird that, oh 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 yeah that's weird that's what I sound like alright I'm gonna open this box I'm doing it I got some points. A fragment of amber. Not as useful as it could be, but three more amber fragments and I get another effort point slot, so decent. That's crazy. I guess I picked a good game to start with then. Not to mention that it's within like my lifestyle. He's supposed to be French too, which is weird. You don't hear the accent that much. This is the door I came in, isn't it? Oh no. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. We'll go upstairs. I, I live in New Brunswick, Canada, so there is a lot of French here too. You might be able to... I might sound a little bit more like him when I try to pronounce French, or I might just sound like an English asshole trying to pronounce French. 
the stupid English pig. <laughs> Yeah, well, his name is uh, Louis de Reche, and his mother is Sarah de Reche, so they're f straight from Paris, right? I think he has a Americanized accent just because of his travels globally at the time. Uh, this takes place, well, the King of France just died. So during the French Revolution, is the time period the actual date uh i don't know where am i going mortimer study uh, that way yes oh that's right you are from uh you are quebecois that's correct it's funny too because like my family's very English. It's either English or Normandy, like I'm a Heinz 57. But because there's so much Acadian and French in the area of New Brunswick that I live, I end up like mimicking the accent a lot. I don't know why. I know as a kid I had a big habit of like mimicking stuff and all that all the time, so that might be why, and it's just the most prominent accent that I hear. So, what did my mother mean by going beyond the nightmare? Because I think the first... Because oh. I think the first, uh, first accent I ever really started, like, uh, mimicking was Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Not that I can do it that well. I used to do it a lot when I was a kid. I sound Quebecois. Oh, what is Dante's purgatory. Why does your mind presume to fly? Yeah, yeah. When you're still like the imperfect grub. Yeah, yeah. The Terminator. The worm before it's attained its The ex-governator. Charming. Mortimer family. <laughs> Get to the chopper. Uh, ah, going in circles here. Honestly, that, that's literally just got to be the random accent mimicking that I do. And because like, I don't always do it on purpose. Depends on the words. Um, and I, I live with somebody who is very Acadian and a lot of people around me, like a lot of friends and stuff are either Acadian or French descent. Welcome to New Brunswick. Uh, <laughs> have I looked at that? The Coup de Lance by Paul Rubens. And for everybody that's going to be watching this on YouTube, uh, if you can already hear my side of the conversation. Uh, I have Twitch chat open, so I'm, I'm talking to the viewers right now. <laughs> oh, that's cool. 12 accents. I think if I tried that, they'd all just sound French. Is this a mockingbird? Or uh, a magpie? Oh, it's a magpie, isn't it? A minor bird. Touche.
Sarah Deriche? Waldo, you know Sarah? Well, Waldo, is your master good? Hmm. I wish I had food for it. I don't know much about. I don't know anything about my, my numbers. Are they a type of? They must. Well, I don't know. I'm not even going to guess. I don't know. <laughs> Cherries. Oh, I'm going to feed them. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to feed them. Watch it kill them. Hmm. Might come in handy. <laughs> All right. Should I see if it kills the bird? A minor bird. All right, let's see what happens. Yeah. Sarah Deriche? Waldo, you know Sarah? What? Repeat that, Waldo. Sarah? What about Sarah? Well, then you knew it before God, what's I been did, happening dude. Here? Well, uh, Waldo, is your master good? I literally just started. I don't really know what I was expecting. Yeah, feed him from the talk, eh? Oh, I don't have any more. What? Oh, I can't take anymore. A painting about a siege dated. No, I uh, I must have gave them all to him. I'll see if I can oh, try again bird. though. So I can feed the bird, but I don't have any more red berries apparently. Right. But what I did learn is that something happened to Sarah de Reche in this room. Mortimer's room. So, oh, oh, oh. Let's take a closer look. What is it? Is it pigs? Chocolates? Most in vogue. <laughs> I'm just gonna Dark take it. chocolate beans. Very bitter. They're greatly prized in high society. Hmm. Oh, come on. Touching by the I'm shape. Do it. I'd say the Criollo cocoa beans. I'm going to, yeah. The chocolate of the Mayas, the rarest of the beans. Some even say they're an aphrodisiac. When a product is in fashion, people attribute all sorts of virtues to it. Not to be given to animals. Ah. Oh, not to be given to animals. All right, let's get some more information before I accidentally kill this bird. Or... Just want to get the rest of the information. This could go down really bad. Let's see. Counts for the year Ni 1792. So there, I would say that would be the closest thing you're going to get for a current date. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate that. That's a... Okay, that, for that the year, uh, for the year, that's a lot. When we produce food consumption next year. Wow, I wonder if that's just for this manor. Hmm. <clears throat> Dear Mr. Guido Poletti. I'm writing with regards to the dates of the paintings that I sent you for your temporary exhibition. Please note that they are part of the private collection and are dated according to the Freemasons calendar in use at the time. As you may well have guessed, you must remember to subtract 4,000 years if you don't want 
the public to be surprised at the dating of the works. No need to remind you that the Freemason year, AL, begins in March, not January. About the Longinus painting, I took the liberty to have the spear touched up so it better corresponds to the actual spear. I cannot urge you strongly enough to do the same for yours. Yours sincerely, Lord William Alexander Mortimer, Marquis of Westfordshire. Westfordshire. I'll keep that in mind. I'll definitely keep that in mind, so if you get an invite, that means I figured out how to do it properly. <laughs> now, now, what have we got here? It looks like a model, a model of a lock. As if Mortimer is fond of complicating things sometimes. Well, I hope I never have to try and unlock it. Oh. I was actually hoping he was going to try it. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a book on the history of the crusade, but I don't think it has any connection with my research. I think it does. Hmm. It looks like a war painting. And it's dated. Hmm. Oh, is that the same book? It's a book on the history of the crusade, but I don't crap. think it has any connection with my research. What is that? I heard it. I heard the little ding. Oh, it's the painting. The coup de lance by Paul Rubens. <sighs> Alright. Uh... Oh, yeah. Right, 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 right. Thank you. Thank you. A minor bird. R.I.P. y'all. <laughs> Let me know some of the links, man. I'll share what that. What have I done? It looks like I've killed him. Oh, shit. I, too. I better not hang around. Oh, I killed the bird. Oh, no. <laughs> shit. <gasps> All right. Well. Oh, this that. Ah, oh, jeez. Worth it. Painted by <laughs> Cecilia in 1781. <laughs> ah, this must be what my mother was talking about. I just need to find out what she meant by "go beyond." Pretty sure killing that hey, bird is going to give me a looks fail. Looks like it's on rails something. on each side. It should lift up, I think. <laughs> yeah, this is a dead bird. Somewhere. Oh shit. <laughs> oh yeah, totally. Totally bad. He have he probably had something to say about Mortimer that the cherries or berries would have helped with. But yeah. Yay. Well, this is the mechanism. Now, now, what be. have we got here? It looks like a model. Oh, wait. A model of a lock. As if Mortimer is fond of complicating things sometimes. There it is. This Mortimer is so bougie. Holy shit. Aha! I found it. Oh, what on earth is this? A ring lock now? Great. That's all I needed. This is where jelly rolls is useful, man. Oh, no. Let's see what happens. Well, I got it wrong. It doesn't matter. All right, time to play Colossal Bop It. I'm going to try the date. 
last one I saw first, 1792, right? It's probably not it. But hey. Well, I got it wrong. No, we knew that. It doesn't matter. It does matter. Anything else in here that might be useful? No. Wait, didn't it say a painting was dated? A date? Hey, there are two dates on this painting. 1154 AD and 5154 AL. Oh, it's free? The two dates most likely relate to two calendars. The Gregorian calendar and well, the Freemason calendar. It's uh, you ever played the game Clue? Like the old board game, murder mystery Clue. Cause this is kind of like a video game version, dealing with like basically the Illuminati, which you're part of, <laughs> kind of. What were those dates again? Hey, the two dates on this painting. 1154 AD and 5154 AL. I'm gonna go with AL. 5154. Let's go with the Freemason calendar. Fifty-one, fifty-four. Oh god, I'm dyslexic with numbers. God, this is such a big lock. <sighs> well, I got it wrong. It doesn't matter. Mm. Uh, now I can't remember the other date. Hey, the two dates on this painting. Yeah, yeah. 1154 AD and 5154 okay. AL. Doesn't matter. No. Oh. That didn't pop up before. This painting isn't finished. And it looks like Mortimer probably did it. Not bad, but you can't exactly say it's been done in the style of a period. Hmm. And the Crusades book isn't going to help me. Yeah, he runs. History uh, of the First Crusades. There's a lot of. By Pierre Amadeu de la Salle. Hey. The dates indicate AL, and it looks like 4,000 years have been added to our calendar. All oh, that counting system again. Oh, crap. <gasps> Is it free? Nice. Second crusade. Is that free? That's not free. So the author is free. Pierre Amade de la Salle. None other than the Grand Master of the Masonic Lodge of Paris. Now I understand why the dates are offset. He's using dates based on the Analusis, year zero of the Masonic calendar, by adding 4,000 years to the Gregorian calendar. But I thought that that calendar starts in March. I'm going to use the point. I'm going to use it. The Crusades took place not long after the year 1000. Here all the dates say 5000 and something. I'm guessing this dating system begins 4000 years before the calendar that we use. Yet, I'm getting the feeling that there's something else, another small detail, but, but what is it? Oh my gosh. The famous call of Pope Urban II. 
20 years after the capture of Jerusalem from the Arabs by the Turks, Urban II convened the council. He promises a plenary indulgence to Christians who go and get Jerusalem back from the Turks. The result, the Jewish community on the road to Jerusalem found itself persecuted for no reason. 12,000 Jews would perish, not to mention the massacre of Ma'ara, where acts of cannibalism by Frankish crusaders were reported, or even the capture of Jerusalem, where approximately 30,000 were left dead. It signaled the beginning of centuries of wars of religion. Um, he does run. Uh, there's collectible coins and corners that I like to pick up and find. So when I'm around the edges, I won't run. Or if it's a new room, I usually won't. Uh, soft locked? Escafe? I should know that term, but I, I, I'm i lost on it right now. So, like, do I get trapped in places? How Louis the Seventh, King of France, because I haven't really yet. Be pardoned for the death of thousands of innocent people in the fire of the Church of Ytri, convinces the Pope to authorize him to lead his own crusade. The result, in Germany, a new outburst of violence against the Jewish community, and a fiasco by poor Louis the Seventh, cuckolded by his wife's uncle. Wait a second. I'm, I'm gonna read. The famous call from Pope Gregory the Eighth in his Odita Tremendi Bull of 5,187. Oh, the crusade where Richard the Lionhearted distinguished himself. It states the first sea blockade of Saint Jean d'Acre was broken in the 12th month of 5,190 AL, whereas the siege had been going on for two years. I haven't got soft locked yet. Um, usually it just means there's like I can still do stuff, but there's some things I can't do. like Mortimer probably did it. Not bad, but you can't exactly say it's been done in the style of a period. Yeah, I kind of noticed that myself. It, I don't think there's a real French accent to it. No, no, what have we got here? Well, it looks like a model. A model of a lock. As if Mortimer is fond of complicating things sometimes. Well, I hope I never have to try and unlock it. Hmm. Right? <laughs> totally matters. Let's see. Have I met everybody yet? Nice. Yesterday I got stuck on a puzzle for 40 minutes, I think. Hey, the dates indicate AL, and it looks like 4,000 years have been added to our calendar. All that counting system again. I'm gonna write these all down. 
right now. That's right. I'm just I'm just gonna try to try to berserk through this lock here. have those. I'm just going to go check a couple other things real quick. Because first time I opened that book before checking the lock, it gave me nothing. So maybe... Crude Rolls by Paul Rubens. It's Christ on the cross as Longinus pierces his side with his spear. Rubens. Well, he was a great painter. Oh, ooh. Wait, was there a date in there? Oh, all right. Check the others. Check the others. William Alexander Mortimer the first, the twelfth month of Anna Lucis, five thousand one hundred ninety. That's a funny date. That date, that funny date again. Five thousand or something again. Hmm. I wonder what in the world it means. So that would be eleven ninety then, wouldn't it? It's minus four thousand years, right? Let's check this one again. I killed the bird. That was probably a bad idea. But a now he can't witness me do Dirk this. Crusade. It's titled <laughs> "Winter Before the Fall of Saint Jean d'Acre." I just thought of this. If I had used the berries on the bird, I probably would have got the date. Oh, I hope that's not, uh, I'm going to have to replay this game all over again after I'm done this round. Siege of saint jean d'Acre. It was a mate during the Third Crusade. Richard the Lionheart and Philip Augustus fought to take the town back. It was the Crusader's first operation to take back the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Give me a date. I get the impression I've seen that before. In fact, I've read something on the crusade before in the study. He clearly loves the subject. Uh -huh. yeah, we did the right thing. Yeah. The bird can't see me break in. I'm going to try 1190. I really thought I was close. 4,190. Isn't the right date when you subtract 4,000? I must have missed a subtlety. <laughs> okay, is this game reading my mind? Because that's literally what I thought. Like, verbatim. <laughs> Damn it. It doesn't work. 5,190. I was pretty sure it was right. Maybe I didn't use the right dating system. Ooh. What's uh, FH for? Yeah, I know. I have to agree with Brock, man. Stream whatever game you're going to have most fun with. I mean, this this may be a slow game for a lot of people, but for me, it's it's what I like. Like, I like high high intense action games, but I like ones that really make you think. Oh, I should have known that. <laughs> Horizon, huh? Hmm. Well, I 
got it wrong. It doesn't matter. Okay. So I was close with 1190. Mm. Which cruise? Right, I gotta look for more clues. There's gotta be more. Let's go check something real quick. I'll be right back. Sorry. And I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. I drink neurotropics when I play games that help me focus. And well, bathroom was upstairs. All right. Oh, there is five people in here. Oh, well, thank you all for viewing and joining us. This is awesome. Thank you. All right. Let's see if we can figure this puzzle out. Either I'm being dense or I am totally missing something. One of the two. Or both. <coughs> Nothing else. Nothing else here. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> and I appreciate that. It's nice to have somebody to talk to uh, while playing, man. It, it's... Oh, here we go. It's awesome. Because, like, sometimes... Uh, you guys help me make decisions, and it's awesome. Oh. That's free, so we're going to do that right away. Many families kept documents of their history, but I've never seen anything like this before. Such regularity of writing them up through the generations for such a long time. First time I've ever seen that. Mortimer gives considerable importance to his origins. That's undeniable. the family tree. Give me a date. Oh. Uh, the first of his name. The first William Alexander Mortimer. He was born in 1131 and distinguished himself during the Third Crusade, during which he rubbed shoulders with Richard the Lionheart. He showed outstanding bravery during the siege of saint jean d'Acre. He died in 1211 in the country of Westford at the age of 80. What longevity, nice. Nothing is mentioned about his wife. I'm gonna go through them all, but I think it's 1131. Lord William Alexander Mortimer, lover of Ooh. the arts and the sciences, he took up politics at an early age. After rapidly becoming influential, he decides to retire from public life in order to organize conferences reserved for the elite with the aim of finding answers to world problems. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> He's also an only son, and the book doesn't mention any known descendant. Uh, the reason I think it's 1131 is because when I put in 1190, he thought it was... Right. The direct descendant of oh, William Alexander clue. Mortimer the oh, First was born in 1195 on his father's return from the crusade. Never mind. 
only son, more discreet than his father, it states that he was widely traveled. He produced only one descendant, named William Michael Mortimer. He died in 1275. There's no chapter dedicated to his mother. So four more dates added. All right. Awesome. For one, the women of the lineage are not mentioned at all. What a cavalier attitude. Right. Let's see. Who else is there? I thought that said William Bertha Mortimer. That would have been so much better. Uh, Only son, a descendant with a singular name. He also took a wife and had only one child, named William again. This is interesting because there was another part of the game uh, in the first chapter where there was a bunch of deeds, uh, companies, land, you name it, and they all had the same name. So that is probably why they're all named after each other. That's weird. It almost makes it seem like he's immortal. Another at random. William Mortimer again. Only son, him too. Born in 1573 and died in 1665. Hmm. Mortimer's lived to a ripe old age, that's for sure. Discreet again. The summary states that he was an excellent merchant and that towards the end of his life, he entered politics? Someone left. Uh, it's not everybody's kind of a game, right? That one, Patreon. This seems to be the list of grants and sponsorships given by the Mortimer family. Oh my Jesus. In 1645, the Mortimer family allocated a pension to be passed <laughs> down the generations to the Nerac family from Bordeaux, ship owners and refiners from father to son, a family known for the expeditions to Africa and America. There's officially way too many dates now. Oh my. In 1489, Mortimer family participated <laughs> in the purchase of the Caravel Santa Clara from Juan Nino, ship owner, on behalf of Don Luis de la Cerda. The vessel will be renamed La Nina. Oh, it's La Nina, pretty. yes. It's one of the three caravels of the expedition of Christopher Columbus. They enabled him to discover the Americas. Well, you can certainly say that grandfather had a flair for business. In 1567, the Mortimer family financed the brickworks in Chinhongdao. Sweet man, let me know China when you're out. Fitted out with 51 furnaces, three and a half meters high, in guise of a protocol gift for Long King, the emperor of the Ming Dynasty. Continue. Uh. From 1235 to 1280, the Mortimer family granted an annual pension to Albert the Great, Archbishop of Regensburg, in order to fund his research in the writing of the Mirabilibus Munsi, books about the wonders of the world. Did he say that right, or did he, like, absolutely butcher that name? Oh, for 1v1? Hmm. I don't know. Let's not forget it reported the recipe for gunpowder in the form of an anagram. They democratized firearms in Europe, no less. That would break the great. I haven't done 1v1 in a while, so... From 1235 to 1280, the Mortimer family granted an annual pension to Albert the Great, oh, Archbishop of Regensburg, in order to fund his research in the writing of the Mirabilibus right. Munsi, books about the wonders <laughs> of the world. 
It, it sounds like he just cannot pronounce that name. I don't know if he can or not. Oh, the number of times I'll stream in a week. Oh. Uh, I, I, oof. I don't know. Holy. I can come back to this book. So we'll just have to remember the second set of names. I want to try some of the... I already did that. Did I do the family tree already? Oh, the family tree. We'll try some of these dates. Okay, no, we already... I'm stuck. Wow. All right. Hey, Waldo. Am I a genius? <laughs> or just lucky? Well, I got it uh, wrong. Either. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Right. Uh, question is, am I actually supposed to be minusing five thousand from these or four thousand from these days? I mean, sure, it will tell me when I find the code, but who wants to do it right? Well, I got it wrong. It doesn't matter. It's just the simplest code in the world. Just one, 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 one. I got it wrong. Okay. It doesn't matter. I'm going to try one of the other ones we got. I think a lot of them are just junk numbers to throw me off anyway. Which is working very well. I got it wrong. It doesn't matter. Okay. Look at this painting again. A painting depicting the Third Crusade. It's titled Crusade. Winter Before the Fall of Saint Jean d'Acre. I get the like impression I've seen that before. In fact, I've read something on the Crusade before in the yeah, study. Yeah. He clearly loves the subject. Not being able to use these optional ways to figure out information is really hurting me on here. History of the First the Crusade by Pierre Amédée de La Salle. Hey, the dates indicate AL and it looks like 4,000 years have been added to our calendar. Kind of oh, wish it wouldn't repeat system some of again. This, but... That's the third crusade there. I'm gonna try two dates real quick. Uh, that was already done, that was already done. So. Still not working. I 
get the impression I counted the wrong way. It must be one year more then, right? No, I already... I did this. Did I not do this? One more year then? Doesn't work, damn it. I really thought I was close. 1,190. Isn't the right date when you subtract 4,000? I must have missed a subtlety. Well, I got it wrong. It doesn't matter. I will try those dates right now. If you figure this out, man, thank you. Eighty-seven, seventy-two. Is that back? You look thinking about it backwards. I think I tried that with some of them, but not this one. Screw it. I'll try it. Well, no, I got it wrong. It doesn't matter. Nineteen twenty-five. Let's try. <laughs> well, that would have been funny, though. It doesn't matter. All right, so I'm assuming it starts with 11. Well, I got it wrong. Okay. It doesn't matter. You know, that doesn't work. Oh! Open sesame. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> oh. There's historical significance to 1191. I know Alright. Dear Lord Mortimer, I am writing to ask you to persuade President Washington not to sign the Fugitive Slave Act as it stands. We must absolutely legislate on a national level and not allow every state to choose their policy regarding slaves. It was initially intended to resolve a conflict between Pennsylvania and Virginia. By signing it, we risk legislating the hunting of blacks. More and more men of little faith are becoming slave hunters and unable to find any slave on the run. They kidnap the first black they come across, which they pass off as the wanted runaway. The, situa the situation threatens to quickly degenerate. Thank you in advance, your friend, John Adams. P.S. Say hello to my daughter, Elizabeth, for me. Oh, yeah, totally, dude. You send me the links. I will watch your stream. What's that? That golden elixir? Oh, uh, jelly roll! My favorite item in the game. <laughs> I love the first option. It's a map of Africa! Moreover, it shows a fair number of sea voyages being organized towards the American continent. 
no doubt with slaves. How many men are broken in this trade? Tens of thousands each year, according to what people say. I'm just gonna it shows the forces present in Africa. This is unexpected activity in this sector. It looks like they're all. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you're here. You're engaging with me. Mortimer. So, I'll return that for sure. Someone just popped into the stream. Hello, my lord. I hope this letter will reach you. My hours are numbered. My printing house has been confiscated and I am imprisoned in the fortress of Schlisselberg? Schlisselberg. Okay. If by chance you could intervene in my favor, uh, I would be entirely in your debt. The Tsarina Catherine should not be long in banning all Golden Order lodges from her territory. A horizon has become considerably dark. Darker, sorry. In the hope that you can help me, your friend, Nikolai Novikov. 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 Wow. Ah, I fucked that up. Hmm. Nope, I got that. Weakness of the Human Psyche by Gihem Trimor. Hmm. He says, It is possible to drill an idea into someone by constant daily repetition until the mind gives in. And goes on, There are hundreds of good ways to live life, but you only need one to convince the masses that it's the only one possible. <laughs> the author isn't letting any ethical principles get in his way, is he? I'm just gonna say with like the history the connections and everything else that they've put in this man this is a really good game the art um, that they've chose to use like ah uh, I love this game so much already I'm only on part two. Oh, <clears throat> the gift has been delivered Timur Shah Durrani King of Afghanistan, of Punjab, of Sid, oh, I don't know how to pronounce that properly, of Mashhad, and of Kashmir, should not retain his title much longer. His son, Zaman, will succeed him as planned. We will then be able to resume negotiations. Okay. The door locked behind me though. So I might have to wait till this whole thing's over. It's a map of the Americas! Some of those forces are pushing toward the west. Oh, I thought On that was it, free. Wonderers placed little feather symbols at different points toward which the Spanish are headed. Could he be shielding Indian resistance to slow down Spain? This shows the forces present in America. Let's see, it's closed. Let me read this last thing. I'll go back to the door here in a second. My dear friend, with thanks for your services rendered and help in the fight against the Spanish and the conquest of Iran, a ship bound for Marcellus in France has been chartered. Sorry, the TV's a bit far away, so it's a little bit blurry sometimes. Uh, hidden aboard are a few corpses infected with the plague that is disseminating our country at this moment in time. Be very careful when handling these boxes because if inadvertently opened, you risk spreading the disease all over France. Mohammed El Kabir? I'm gonna. Yes? This game literally makes me think about history and like, hmm. Oh, wow. My dear friend, as desired, I have been able to gather together my friends to sign the agreement you proposed. This agreement shall be known 
as the Buttonwood Agreement. If you recall, the place where we gathered when you met us for the first time, you will understand why this name was given. Please find enclosed a list of colleagues. I'm not going to go through all those names, but I'll give you a second to go through them if you want. Uh, ending, thanks to your help, we shall soon be able to meet at my place, the Tontine Coffee House. I look forward to seeing you as soon as possible. Hugh Smith. This will be getting chopped up and put on YouTube, so if you want to look at those names later, you can pause it when that's done. Let us see you have that courage to face me alone. Huh. This is my mother's writing. I picked up her trail. What is she up to? Obviously, she wants to lure Mortimer somewhere, but, but where? Who she's left for Mortimer is a stone sword. It must be intentional. Nice. It looks like a decorative sword, like from a I statue, do. for example. And judging by the state of it, I'm guessing it's been left outside for a long time. I have absolutely got to find out where it came from. I know we only got four viewers. But out of those four, two of them are in chat. So if you other guys want to jump in chat, join the conversation, go right ahead. No, you don't have to worry about it right now, man. Ooh, ooh, what's that? I am full. Ah. Uh... Oh, I'm not trying to. I'm just letting them know they can if they want to. My dearest Lord Mortimer, as a friend of China, rest assured that you will be rewarded for your information. You need not worry about this scheming against us from Great Britain. Their representative, Mr. McCartney, will leave with no hope of any arrangements involving us. Your friend, Quang Long, Emperor of the Qin Dynasty? Probably butchered that. My bad. William, whatever your projects, it would seem that our father is against leaving you with a grip on Europe. Russia will soon commit itself to the coalition against your dear France. Don't think you can resist for long. I beseech you, William, not to persist. You are tearing our family apart. Your loving brother, G. P.S. I shall come to your conference, but do not think that holding it at the present moment is conductive. Oh, it's not free. It's a map of Europe. Which is present in Europe. It's clear that France is surrounded by her enemies. However, a large number has been underlined in bold. 26 million. I know what it is. It's an estimation of my country's population. All our neighbors have far fewer inhabitants. Not wasting. Uh, probably wouldn't be a waste, but I'm not going to use that point. On that. My dear friend, thank you for your words, and I do understand your situation. I regret having to confront you militarily. But if the situation obliges me to declare war, then do it you think fit. Under your advisement and with a wary heart, I am off to meet up with the coalition that opposes you. In the hope of serving you again, George, King of Hangover, King of the United Kingdom, of Great Britain, and Ireland. Something else. Okay. All right. Hold on. It's locked. That's observant. Can I 
I tap that one too? Oh well. Oh wow. Sir, your plans to intervene in Belgium are to go ahead as set down. I am to occupy the Persian army. Your delivery of cannons to Valmy has ensured our victory. As agreed, I have notified the King of Prussia of the invasion plans of Castine and the Army of the North. I will keep the Austrians out of Belgium. I am to quickly return to Paris as I sense the fate of our King Louis is about to be decided dishonorably and it is impossible for me to intervene. Should you have any missive to give me, I invite you to go by, as per usual, our friend Monsieur Peru. Sincerely yours, Charles Francois Dumores, Dinner of the Army of the North. Yeah. <clears throat> Pronunciation of foreign names and words, not best talent. I love it. It's a map of Asia. A fine looking map of the Orient, indeed. Now move away. No. My dearest Lord Mortimer, I regret to inform you that it will soon be impossible to ignore pressure from the Russians. The Tsarina Catherine, or Tsarina Catherine, has every intention of supporting the Count of Provence, and will recognize him as the Regent of the Kingdom of France. Once King Louis has disappeared from the political stage, I am sorry to announce bad news, but expect dark times ahead. Your friend, Elfride. Bauer? I had to pick the game with all the foreign names. Okay, I checked all this. I think there's something on this ladder. Yes. Yeah. No, I already read that one. I just want to check something real quick with this door before we go to the next room. Oh shit. How am I gonna get out of here now? <laughs> I bet you it's a different day. It would have to correspond as 1191 on the opposite side, wouldn't it? Oh, nah, I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I wonder if it's be the same day on this side. Hmm. Check the tables first. Not seeing things, or is that an actual von Leeuwenhoek microscope? Incredible. Mortimer really is at the cutting edge of science. Even at the order, it took us ages to get one of those. I don't think I've found any vulnerabilities for Lord Mortimer. Just immunities, which is scary. He has no weakness. Three rusty old nails. They're about 20 centimeters long. Mm -hmm. Is that tarot deck? That's tarot cards. Let's see if I can discern which ones they are before he tells me. I would say... The Empress, the Emperor... Potentially the Fool. Uh, I can't really tell actually. So goat skulls, chicken legs. Now we all know what that's for. I'm a little surprised at Mortimer. <laughs> and it seems as the type to be organizing little pagan parties, invoking occult powers, and dancing naked under the full moon. I'm more used to seeing cheap charms like his sold by charlatans in Pré Saint Gervais. <laughs> wow. Look. Alright. A pack of tarot cards. Has he been. Reading the cards? Mortimer? <laughs> that would surprise me. Okay, so it looks like the Emperor, maybe the High Priestess, and 
Oh, this is free because of my cultism. Of course it, it is. is a typical draw on a line that answers a specific question. To the left, temperance, that temperance, announces okay. a reward for one who patiently waits before taking any action. And in the middle, the chariot, chariot the which emperor. symbolizes triumph and business success. I got one. To right. the right, the emperor evokes a future full of power and stability. I don't know. You want to draw a card? Look. Can I draw a pack card? of tarot cards. Yes. Has he been reading the cards? Mortimer? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that would surprise me. It surprises you that one of the heads of the Golden Order in a cult secret society that your mother is a leader or a sect leader of in Paris and you were the son of it surprises you that he uses tarot <sighs> that one hurts my head a little that one hurts my head a little oh I want to draw oh it's free Oh, let's read the cards. Let's draw the cards. Damn. <laughs> Don't be me. <laughs> He's part of an occult secret society. I, I figured, like, tarot was pretty common. <laughs> All right. Lord Mortimer, the tiger is dying. On your demand, I have attacked Trav... Travancore? Travancore. And personally cut the throats of as many Englishmen as possible, though without help from the French. I cannot hold them off much longer. My forces are rapidly diminishing in spite of your new rockets. Help us. I'm not going to try to pronounce that name. Um... Oh, wait. Tipu Sahib? Maybe? I don't know if I'm right there. I wish somebody would correct me. Uh, Sultan of Misoro. Misoro. Right? Rockets. In the 1700s. Rockets. I wonder what he means by that. Well, because I mean, Chinese had fireworks, right? In the 1700s. Way before that, I think. So... If Mortimer is utilizing uh, Chinese explosive technology at the time, then rockets would have been possible. It would have been more like a firework with a bunch of TNT. But yeah, I, possible with technology at the time. strange about this table. Oh, I don't have a high enough science. We're just going to look at the little surgeon's sign. perfect collection. Did he say that like it was a kid's toy? Little surgeons? Oh, man. Yeah. That is Latin. The Humanae Corporis Fabrica. Oh, okay. Actually, I have a human anatomy book in my temple right now. That's hilarious. Yeah, see, that would make sense. That, that'd that be the most rudimentary rocket I could think of, is like a explosive tip to arrow. <laughs> Alright, did I get everything on the table? Because I want to check all the... Okay, that I count as a wall. Anything in the chair? Alright. Wall time. Dearest friend, our plans on going ahead or sorry. Our plans are going ahead wonderfully well. The coinage act has been voted. 
that my brain farted your project of founding the very first bank of america should not be delayed and will probably be called union bank is that an actual bank in the state as for the construction of the white house it is still die to begin in october i will accept no delay you can trust me on this i hope to see you soon thomas jefferson secretary of the state <laughs> there's too many dinging, there's too many things. The table of alchemical elements. So, oh, yeah, there it is. Lord Mortimer also studies alchemy? It seems like he's interested in everything. You'd have to be if you're a global shifter, you know. Oh, royal jelly. I love those jelly balls. A chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of fire. No. Oops. 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 Well, a chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of fire. Should I use the points? Should we go for this box because we, we missed it on the other one for now? <laughs> I couldn't let him see me get in, man. Save the points. All right, maybe we'll find the other key. Might find another key. I mean, that one wasn't far from the box. Dear Lord Mortimer, be assured of my entire devotion. As agreed, the Vendée. Ah, so bad with other languages. <laughs> As agreed, the Vendée peasantry will soon rise up. My network is striving to increase the pressure of the masses. The decision of the assembly, which consists of voting the civil constitution of the clergy, is inflaming the region. The people overwhelmingly reject the priests and swear loyalty to the state. If you can ensure that the convention will administer the final blow to the people, the issue will be resolved. Without wishing to direct you or forced recruitment for a faraway conflict would be a perfect way to arouse the people definitively. Your devoted servant, Francois Athanase. I am not going to try to even pronounce that more than I just did. Because I don't want to butcher that name. <laughs> I feel bad enough for all the names in places I potentially butchered already. It, it's really that second name, I think. That's bugging me. Athanase? Francois Athanase Charette Charret de la Cotre? I'm not gonna try it again. No. We're gonna get that box right now. Yeah. Because the item I just got chest with the motif representing the alchemical symbol will allow you to do this this pick lock for free. Oh, the royal jelly made me drunk. Right. Oh, we got the other key for the other box. Right, that was worth it to me. Athanas? Athanas? Hmm. 
So the guys you're playing against right now literally are teabagging? That's lame. I thought teabagging was outdated now. An iron mask. I wonder who it's for. Well, the iron mask is clearly for the man in the iron mask. I know that story. Hmm. That must be for writing the home pigeon messages. We walk around there. Right. Dear friend, who is the most admirable of all the Olympians? Oh, sorry, that was a question. Who is the most admirable of all the Olympians? None other than the king of the gods, of course. Unlike his father, Kronos, he learned to make equal use of his strength and wisdom. Instead of fearing the power of his children and brothers, he accepted to share the world with them. Men fear his thunder and praise his justice. He reigns but doesn't dominate. So Zeus. Okay. I'm assuming that's Zeus. Because it's not Thor. That wouldn't match up. Dear Lord Mortimer, as agreed, I have changed your old lock for one of my invention. Drawing inspiration from your doctor friend, Mr. Guillotine, here is the model of your new lock. If you appreciate my prototype. It is difficult to imagine how it all fits together, but it will be located in the middle of the present door. The aim being to alter nothing of the door's functionality, but to add a bit of spice. Depending on the lineup of the wheels, the aforementioned lock will open, or will punish the snooper whose faith is not strong enough. Oh great, yay. I called my invention the judgment of fate. Faith. Because if a snooper is unable to resist opening it, he will be punished. I hope you'll appreciate the irony of the situation. Gustave Montrand, Master of Master Architect. <laughs> yeah, I mean if that was if that lock was supposed to punish me, it, it did a horrible job. Maybe it's oh might be a different lock. I hope a not. skeleton by the name of Gustav. It's a plaque on the plinth as anything to go by. Mortimer's given a name to his anatomy skeleton. That's morbid. Oh, the right hand is morbid. Missing. I'm guessing the punishment is if you have to put your hand into the lock, and because it's based off the guillotine. If you don't do it right, you lose a hand. Uh, I'm not looking. Oh god, these are feathers. Pigeon, probably. Uh, more flying rat feathers. Is that Hebrew? Oh no! Wait, looking at the wrong angle. That's cuneiform. What is it? What? Ancient Sumerian? Why? How? Oh, yes, it's free. Strange. You don't recognize the alphabet. I wonder where cuneiform. the pictograms are from. It is an Egyptian Sumeria. or Hebrew. And two inscriptions on the sides as well as on the top. No way to know what's underneath. Absolutely no idea what it's for, but I find this cue fascinating. Looks like I'm in the material. obsidian or onyx. It must weigh a ton. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. You want to tell me that somebody pressed hammered, chiseled cuneiform into onyx or obsidian? 
That's not easy, man. I own both those items. Obsidian is glass, for one. Interesting. I'm actually really intrigued now. <laughs> we looked at that. Did we look in the jar? I can't remember. Did we look at it? Yeah, Onyx. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it'd be O N Y X. Yeah. Yeah. It's an actual stone. Preservation using formaldehyde. Just as disgusting as ever. <laughs> oh, Nix. <laughs> Okay, uh... I have finished this room, have I not? Oh, find a way out. Is that what I've been trying to do? I, I really got caught up in looking at all the things. Okay, well... Let's, uh... Onyx is not a shitty Pokemon. It's locked. It's locked. No shit, it's Oh. Oh, no. There's literally nothing else that I can think of. Weakness of the human psyche no, by Gihem Trimor. Hmm. He says, it is possible to drill an idea into someone by constant daily repetition until the mind gives in and goes on there are hundreds of good ways to live life but you only need one to convince the masses that it's the only one possible <laughs> the author isn't letting any ethical principles get in his way is he There's ten numbers on those, so each one of those is a... What's that called when it's ten sides? I know, I have to go on... Anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six... Uh, yeah, I suppose. You're right. It can be a bee, especially when it says the evolve. Uh... Oh, it's just upside down too, isn't it? like the same mechanism as the one on the other side. That's funny, I've already done... Whoa, whoa. The grid closes a bit more every time I enter a wrong date. I oh, I, I was wrong about that lock, boys. working. 
I'm gonna have to use some points for this for sure. Oh man. This looks like the same mechanism as the one on the other side. I gotta think about the shape. Oh. Alright, alright. These all right. cylinders rotate on the same central axis, so when I enter a number on one side, it corresponds to another one on the other side. Yeah, but I'm. It looks too easy. It could be a trap. Looks like the same as the one on the other side. Right? That was no help at all. I understand. But I just I have to figure out zero. Points left. <sighs> RIP, boys. RIP. This looks like the same mechanism as the one on the other side. I was hoping I'd get three chances. <sighs> and it set it all to fives? Why? Those are stuck shit. Oh, they're locked. like a rat. I don't know. It's my first time playing. Like first time playing this game, so I have no. I'm. Um, I guess I wait. I'm about to get in shit for sure. <sighs> like I try to draw Someone's out coming. the shapes, but because it's ten, it's weird. Please don't let it be Mortimer. Yeah, please don't be Mortimer. Please be. Who is it? Emily Hawthorne. Deliberately oh, avoiding me. Four years ago, I was his favorite. But nowadays, I have to ask for an audience for his lordship. Damn it! It's Peru. Fuck. I hate that guy. I don't know if I should, but... Well, that's it! I've had enough of being humiliated! I didn't pick either I'm one. I'm my time here. After everything I've done on his behalf, he dares treat me like a lackey? I've bled the Parisian elite for the sake of his whims, and what have I got to show for it? doesn't even have the courtesy to give me five minutes of his time. I wanted to put my mind at ease. Well, that's done. I know what I've got to do now. I must find my mother. So much for discretion. Monsieur Peru, it's me. Uh, Monsieur de Riche. What the devil is going on? I need on? your help. Where are you, de Riche? Behind the painting. Open it, please. I've shut myself in. There's a pedal under Lord Mortimer's desk. Can you see it? There's no! There's no! Hang on. Hang on. Yes. Good. Yes. Now press it. Yeah, yeah. Done. You should see something resembling a frame with numbers. Yes? You have to turn them to set the combination. One, one, nine, one. What is it on my side? I want to see how close I was. Oh, what? Oh, 
I had it right the first time except for one number. Oh! Well, well, well. Poking our nose into Mortimer's little secrets, are we? You do surprise me. It's not what you're thinking. I'll explain everything. No, you will not, sir. It has nothing to do with me. And by the way, I never even saw you. So, Good. I'll be on my way now. Thanks again. I'm indebted to you. I won't forget this. Yeah. Goodbye. I hate him, but you got me out. I've wasted enough time. I better get moving if I want to find my mother. Oh, I failed to find a way out because I got one number wrong. The origin of the sword. What? <laughs> what? Oh, I can't eat myself. Yeah, I don't know. Peru's a dick, but I guess. Can I read that book? Nah, I'm gonna leave here. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Wait. Okay, good. I didn't think it was. Hey! Things failed. Yeah, I don't know what the hole's for, but I can't eat myself into it, so I'm kind of disappointed. All right, all right, all right. Where are we at here? This needs to go up. That needs to go up. Bird needed to die. <laughs> what was something else I was having trouble with? Logic? I'm putting another one in the logic. Yeah. Science. <laughs> hmm. I'll let you guys pick the last last point. Should I go erudition, questioning, conviction, diversion, politics? Etiquette, manipulation, linguistics, or occultism, which I already have pretty high, so uh, don't don't go with occultism, please. <laughs> which one was that? Questioning it is. I should have all my effort points back, I think. No? Okay, this never mind. about a meeting with Lord Mortimer. There's no doubt about it. Alright, I need to find out that where sucks. the sword that came with it's from in order to find Mother. Alright, I, yeah, I went with questioning. Oh, where are we at? Two hours. I think I'm gonna call it a uh, game for now, guys. I did three hours yesterday. I think I'm gonna try to keep it under three hours. Uh, need a bit of a break. Thanks for joining me. Those uh, who weren't in chat but were viewing, also, thank you very much for joining me tonight. Uh, this has been Pan Morgenstern You're playing. Choking, don't oh, tell me you've done on. that. Really? How do you expect uh -oh. me to guess? Well, for God's sake, just ask them. 
Spy? Or look for mother? I'm gonna look for my mom. Pity, but I've got no time to lose. Yeah, no. Mom's important, yo. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna call it quits here, guys. Uh, I will be streaming this again tomorrow from this very point in the game. Uh, for now, I'm going to go download this stream and edit it for YouTube so it'll be a little bit easier for others. Again, those in chat, Cosmic Crabs and Rocktivore, thank you for joining me and thank you for engaging. Those who we were just viewing, also, thank you very much for stopping by and watching me tonight. Uh, this has been The Council, Part 2. I am Pan Morgenstern, and I will see you all tomorrow.